Hello. Uh, have you ever struggled with the view templates in Revit, especially if you were working in a bigger teams or with a lot of views in the projects? And like if you were in a, in a submission view and you would like to do the change, you have to go into the template and do the change. And then sometimes you forget to bring back to the, to the previous settings and it affects a lot of views. I assume it happened to most of us and that's why I decided to make a tutorial and show you how you can avoid that and how you can use something which is in Revit called temporary view properties. Hello, I'm in uh, one of my project Revit files and as you could see I have opened two floor plans in front of me and the, the, this one which you're looking at is a working floor plan and there is nothing assigned to this one, I mean in sense of template or anything. So I can just go to the visibility graphic or VV as a shortcut and then I can do any changes I would like to, to have on this particular view. But if I go to the other work plan which is ready for submission for a client as you could see i have a template assigned and if i would like to do something or to turn on or off something uh, and if i go to visibility graphics you could see that all my things are grayed out the reason is because they are all controlled by the template so for example if i would like to go and let's say turn on room separation lines visible i have to go here and then under the lines I have to turn them on but this will affect all the floor plans I have under this view template so instead of this I will just go undo Revit has a great tool and it's located over here so the name is temporary view properties and what what does it do is just if you click enable temporary view properties you will get your screen as a blue purple and then if you go to VV you can do the things and change the things but they are not going to affect all the views under the template they are actually going to affect just the view we have open here so let's say i would like to move this separation line to be over here so this affected my areas of the rooms and now if i would like to have the view settings as i had before i can just go over here in a temporary view properties and restore view properties uh, this is quite useful tool and especially if you're working in a bigger teams or if you're new in some team and if you have a lot of different views, uh, working views, submission views, however you name them in your office. So instead of, as I said, going and do the things in the template and then affect a lot of views, you can just go and use this temporary view properties and it will really save your day. Uh, there is also one other thing you would like to, you can do actually here. And if you go under the temporary view properties, you can also apply a temporary template you have. So if let's say that I'm going to apply this one over here. So you see that it immediately made the changes. So our scale is now 1 to 50 instead of 1 to 100. And the plan doesn't look the same as with the original template. Again, if I would like to uh, go back, I just go to restore view properties and that was it. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you can find this tool useful. I, I'm using it every day and it really helps me a lot. And please, if you would like to support us, subscribe to our channel and like the video.